welcome back to my channel hi okay so guys this is going to be my art room i'm going to shoot videos here i'm going to make a lot of art and crafts here so there's going to be a lot of art supplies all over and today i'm going to do an art room makeover oh my gosh this is going to be a lot of work but anyways i hope you guys like this video so without further ado art room makeover let's get started Okay, before I start the makeover, let me give you guys a quick tour of the room. I don't know why I didn't take like a before video to show you guys how it looks like before. But basically, it looks like this. It's like a clean rectangle. It has the window on the right, the closet on the left, a really simple rectangle room. The problem is that I'm not a really big fan of the floor. I'm not really into dark colored rooms. I'm more into like white pastelish light -like colored rooms. So the first thing I decided to do was to change the color of the floor. So first off first, I want to change the color of the floor. The lighter the floor, the brighter the video is going to be. And um, I know I'm going to use a lot of paint. I'm going to do a lot of crafting. So I want to protect the floor with a sheet. But I'm kind of concerned I may not have enough. I already used this to make over my other room, my bedroom. And this is what I have left over. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I have enough to fill up the whole room. We have a problem here. And it is the next day. Yes, I moved in. So here's all my stuff and here's my hamsters. I'm really upset because I wanted to do the floors first before the things came, but it just didn't work out as planned. So plan B, I'm going to move everything out again and then do the floor today. I still really want to do the floor. Okay, this is a lot of work, but let's get started. By the way, I found BMAX. So after, I cleaned up the room and did a little bit of ballet. I then started on with my project. Now, the concept itself isn't that hard. All you need to do is put a layer on top of the floor. However, the execution is quite challenging. Mind you, I'm a little girl and this thing is like twice my size. And the sheet isn't like thin as paper, it's actually like a cushion and it has some thickness to it. Which is perfect because I need some kind of protection for my floors. Like I said before, I use paint, do lots of DIY and crafting that I tend to destroy the floor. This cushion floor is going to be perfect to both keep the room clean and give me a brighter room. I also did explain before, but I just really like brighter rooms. Not only because it fits my aesthetic more as I like pastelish light colors, but also because white reflects light that the room turns so much brighter and it will be easier to shoot videos. Light is such an essential part of shooting videos, the lighter it is, the cleaner the video will look. So this floor thing was so heavy, it was so hard to work with, but basically I laid it down onto the floor and cut it big enough to fit the floor. It's so important to actually actually cut it not too big but not too small. I mean I did buy a new batch but I knew I wouldn't have enough to waste it. I think it cost me around like $70 for this whole floor. They sold it for like every 10 centimeters, so I tried to buy enough but not too much. This whole moving thing has cost me so so much. I had to save every penny that I could. Like literally. And after I was done cutting, I got the special masking tape to tape the floor onto the floor. This double sided masking tape basically has a super sticky side and a not so sticky side. The not so sticky side is for the floor. It's so it'll be easier to peel it off when removing. The super sticky side is for the floor sheet, so the sheet will not budge. There's like a right way to tape it onto the floor, like you're supposed to get the corners and you're supposed to make lines and stuff, but I kinda did it my way because I didn't have enough to do the whole floor. These masking tapes cost me like $15 a roll, 
and I think I bought four. I think I needed at least two more if I wanted to make it perfect, but I thought I didn't need to make it perfect. Like, I knew it's not going to make much of a difference, so I decided to save my money and kind of taped it up my way with fewer rolls. I got the essential parts like the corners, but other than that, I just taped it up where I thought it would need the most. And there you have it, a super clean floor. You can't even tell that it's fake. Now, all I have to do is to do it again for the other side of the floor. This side was a lot harder because as you can see, it has this weird dent at the end and I just needed to make more adjustments. It also had this doorstep on the other side. Not hard, but it's just time consuming. It takes a lot of patience and strength. Again, I got the double-sided tape and taped it all up and ta-da, we're almost done. Okay, so I don't like how there's a gap on the side, so I'm going to be using this. I'm just going to tape it up. Ta da! The floor is all done. It took me about like two hours, three hours, all by myself. It's not hard, but it's a little bit time consuming and, um, and a lot of work. So now, before you put everything back in, I'm going to make some furniture. desk. My back is killing me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So now we've got all the furniture ready. Well, except for one. I actually have one more desk coming. But other than that, they're all ready. So it's time to put everything back in. And by everything, I mean everything. Here, I'll just show you guys. So these are all my art supplies. There's so much stuff. Obviously not everything's going to fit into this room, so I need to like organize. I need to throw away some stuff that I'm not going to use. And um, I'm going to try my best. And earlier today I went shopping and got all these stuff today. I got these like white plastic bins, which is perfect inside these shelves. And I want to organize all my crafting supplies, my art supplies into separate boxes. I was actually taking a video for my other channel at the same time, killing two birds with one stone. So I'm like going back and forth with the cameras. Anyways, I basically put the white bins all across like so and decided to organize every material I had into those bins. If you guys don't know, this channel is my English channel and I've only had this for like a year, but I've been doing YouTube ever since like 7 years ago on my other Japanese channel. On that channel, I have over a thousand videos. I kid you not, over a thousand videos. So for 7 years, I've been doing different kinds of DIYs, art, crafts, and more. So I just have a lot of crafting supplies. Sometimes people ask me why I have so much stuff, and obviously no one needs a lot of materials to make art. You can make art with paper and pen, but my collection just built up after 7 years of YouTube and over a thousand art videos. While I am very, very grateful for everything that I have, I'm also impressed with myself for making a thousand videos. Okay, so for these bins, I basically got this really cute masking tape. Isn't it so cute? It's like this ice cream tape and it's totally my style. And I'm just going to tape this onto the bin as a label. So here's my pen batch maker and I've got these small parts and accessories and I want to keep them all into the bin together. I'm just going to put it in like so. Put the lid on and label it badge maker. And here's our first bin. I'm basically going to be doing the same thing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 more times. And now that we have the base ready, let's start unboxing everything.
hi to the camera. Before I got these small bins, if you've seen my other room, you would know that I put everything into these big bins. And while they were very useful, it kind of got all frustrating because I would stuff everything into a bin that's open and I wouldn't be able to find it afterwards when I need it again. I would end up rebuying stuff and regret doubling some stuff later, so I'm actually super happy how I got these small bins. Oh, and guys, if you guys haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to me for more videos and the notification bell. Most of you, and I mean like more than 70% of you guys, are actually not subscribed to me, and it makes me really sad. So just a reminder guys, don't forget. So these shelves are going to be in the background when I'm filming. So on the top part, I wanna put like decorations. Maybe like some artwork over here, but I'm going to be using the bottom part for storage. So I also got these boxes, which fits perfectly inside these shelves. so sad. This is broken. It came like this. I'm probably going to send it back and get a new one. But in the meanwhile, I'm probably still going to use it because I want to clean up my room. And my Copic markers are going to go right here. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. This is so satisfying. Here's all my Copic markers, and here's all my Posca paint pen, and some drawing supplies. This is so satisfying. And here we go again. Oh, by the way, I know that my stuffed animals are all crammed up there. Some people commented on how hard it's going to be to remove the bins on the top, which I know, but like, there's literally nowhere else to put it. I got majority of them from my subscribers as a present, so I really want to keep every single one on there. It also makes the room so cute, I just had to put it up there. Oh, and also because of Toy Story, I try to keep my dolls and stuffed animals outside so they could roam around the room whenever they want. Maybe in the future, I'll try to come up with a better storage idea, but for now, it's going to be on top of the bins. I'm also like okay with it because I know for sure I'm not going to be like opening the bins on the top too frequently. Hands up! <laughs> Glue guns. I don't even know if I need this. I also like how the big bins are transparent on the top because I can literally see what's inside without unboxing it. If I'm looking for something, I don't have to open it every single time, I could just see through it. So while some people commented how it looks kind of messy because of the see-through bins and the stuffed animals all crammed at the top, I'm personally fine with it. Okay, more fast forwarding, we're almost done. After I put all my art supplies into place, I went onto the shelf to put some stuff I got from my subscribers. They are handmade, and I have to say my subscribers are the most talented people I've ever seen. Like look at these dolls and squishies, so so cute. And on the bottom of the shelf, I made a place where I could put all my batteries, all my cameras, all my filming equipment so everything is organized and very useful. Lastly, I got my desk the next day, put out my Wacom tablet, and did the rest of my decoration. I'm actually surprised with myself because I chose navy blue for the curtains. I felt like pastelish colors or curtains that look too cutesy will make the room feel like a toddler's playroom. While cute is my vibe, I still wanted to make it like an adult room. Navy blue was the best choice to make the room look cute but sophisticated at the same time. So after like a whole week, I was finally done.
So this is it. Welcome guys to my art room, craft room, office, studio, well, everything room. I am beyond exhausted, but it's finally done and I am very, very satisfied. So let me give you guys a quick tour. On this side of the room, we have the shelves and all my crafting supplies. On the top left shelf, I have all the LOL surprise dolls and all my toys. And on the right, I have all my squishies. On the very left, I have some leather crafting supplies and a tattoo machine. Some stuff that I haven't used too much in my videos yet, but I would really like to. Here is my badge maker. It's like a legit badge maker. Here's some badges that I've made before. This is all my soap and candle supplies. I have some glycerin, some multiple candles, gel kit candles. This basket is still very spacious, so I think I have some room to grow. All the molds, bath bomb stuff, dolls. And on the very bottom, I have some miscellaneous stuff. Just random stuff all together crammed in. And onto the right side of the shelf, I have a lot of cases like a switch case, iPhone case. These are for me to customize like this. I drew this with Posca paint pen and just some random stuff that I could customize. Before, I had all my stuff in the big bins and I would have to literally dig in every single time I want to look for some case. So like, so this is such a time saver for me now. I love how organized it is. And here are some resin stuff. That's my UV light. And basically everything that I use for resin, including gloves and everything. But one of my favorite bins, the clay. It has like every single clay that you can imagine. Epoxy sculpt clay, angel clay, baking clay, sculpey silicone clay, and even some eraser clay. So there's like so many different kinds of clay in here. In here, I have my 3D pen with some filaments, all the fabrics I need to get into sewing, papers, all these different kinds of papers, including like shrink inks. And on the very bottom, I have all my slime stuff. Half of this bin is like filled with Elmer's glue. And if we turn to the desk, moving on, in here, I have all my paint supplies. It looks a little bit cramped, but they're actually organized. These are some fabric paints, acrylic paints, leather paints, vinyl paints, glass paints, and paints for some figurines and dolls. They're all paint, but they're all different kinds of paints. Onto my favorite part of the room. Oh my gosh, I'm just so obsessed with how it turned out. I have all my Posca paint pens and my Copic markers on that side. I have a little bit of decorations on the top. I'm a little bit upset about the color of the desk. I was looking for a white desk. As you can tell, everything else in my room is white. But unfortunately, when I opened the box, this was what it was inside. If I could change it, I would. I may paint it in the future, but not today. We'll see. I put this on top just to kind of like cover it and also make it like kind of cutesy. These are um kind of organized. Posca paint pens that didn't fit in here. I have like decorations, glitters, just random stuff to decorate. I have all my tools here and my silicone, hammer, a saw, yeah. Oh my gosh, it was such a crazy week, but it was so worth it. I honestly can't wait to make more videos here. If you guys liked it, please give me a thumbs up and a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.